I'm calling this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 14th day of January 2020 at 5 p.m. Uh, I want to call on Bess Ralph to uh, lead us in a prayer of pledge to the flag. Please let us pray. Lord, we just come with you tonight with humble hearts. Lord, we just give you uh, thanks for such a beautiful day. And Lord, we just thank you for every citizen that is represented here tonight. And we just ask you to give us uh, wisdom for any decision that is made for our county tonight that uh, it will give you all the glory. Lord, we just love you. And we just thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts of all the good things that we enjoy because of you giving your son for our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Uh, you have before you the uh, minutes of the December the 17th meeting. I would like to have a motion to approve. So motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. I would entertain a motion to approve the uh, bills and claims. Motion by Larry Cowan. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Just, e a, just a minute, Judge, on these late lists. Okay. I'm good, Joe. Uh, any other questions? Let's say like Joseph Housing. What's that? Juvenile. Juvenile. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. like sign. The bills, claims, payments, and transfers pass. Next on the agenda, in case there's anybody here interested in this next little matter, uh, we have before you the uh, consideration for resolution 2021, which is declaring Ohio County, Kentucky a Second Amendment sanctuary. Um, I'm going to read it, and, it's, and this is in a form of a motion. I want to ask for one of you to second it, uh, uh, second this motion. It says, whereas in the Constitution of the United States and the supreme law of our nation, and whereas the Second Amendment of the Constitution states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And whereas the United States Supreme Court has affirmed an individual's right to possess firearms unconnected with service in the military, for traditionally lawful purposes such as self-defense within the home and whereas the United States Supreme Court has affirmed that the right of an individual to keep and bear arms as protected under the Second Amendment is incorporated into the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment against the states and whereas the United States Supreme Court in the United States versus Miller 1939 stated that firearms that are part of an ordinary militia equipment with use that could be contribute to the common defense are protected by the Second Amendment and whereas the OIK Fiscal Court is concerned about the passage of any bill containing language that could be in, interpreted as infringing the rights of the legal citizens of OIK to keep and bear arms and whereas the OIK Fiscal Court wishes to express 
its deep commitment to the rights of all legal citizens of Ohio County to keep and bear arms. And whereas the Ohio County Fiscal Court wishes to express opposition to any law that would unconstitutionally restrict the right of, of the legal citizens of Ohio County to keep and bear arms. And whereas the Ohio County Fiscal Court wishes to express its intent to stand as a sanctuary county for the Second Amendment rights and to oppose within the limits of the Constitution of the United States, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, any efforts to unconstitutionally restrict such rights. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the people of Ohio County, through their duly elected fiscal court, hereby designates Ohio County a Second Amendment sanctuary in order to preserve for the people of, on, and in Ohio County their rights guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States of America, furthermore, that the Ohio County Fiscal Court hereby expresses its intent to uphold the Second Amendment rights of the legal citizens of Ohio County, Kentucky, furthermore, that the Ohio County Fiscal Court hereby declares its intent to oppose any infringement on the right of law-abiding legal citizens to keep and bear arms. Furthermore, Ohio County Fiscal Court demands that public funds of the Commonwealth of Kentucky not be used to restrict Second Amendment rights or to aid in unnecessarily and unconstitutional restriction of the rights under the Second Amendment of the legal citizens of Ohio County to bear arms. Furthermore, Ohio County urges the General Assembly, the United States Congress, and other agencies of state and federal government not to adopt, accept, or enact any provision, law, or regulation that may infringe or place any additional burdens on the rights of legal abiding citizens to bear arms. Furthermore, this resolution is not intended in any way to be a temporary in nature. Furthermore, the fiscal court of Ohio County requests the Ohio County Judge Executive cause true copies of this uh, resolution to be forwarded to the county's representatives in the General Assembly and to the United States Congress and to the Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Adopted this 14th day of January. 2020. Do I have a second? Sorry. I've got seconds everywhere, so you can. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Joe Barnes. Uh, we, we will at this time, the, the court does discuss, but I just wanted to say a little bit about history, just how important it is for us to have the right to bear arms. Uh, the turning point in the War of 1812, that's where the British decided to come back and take over the United States several years after the, we had already won the Revolutionary War. And only the citizens' weapons defended the country. There was not a militia, there was not an army or navy or anything like that to do it. It was just the citizens. Uh, and it, in the uh, Battle of New Orleans, which was... Uh, pretty much the turning point of the war. The uh, citizens had their own guns. Matter of fact, they referred to them as squirrel guns and uh, and waited till the British got close enough that they could could take them on and, and won that battle. Uh, and even in the uh, yeah, and 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 even in the Revolutionary War, of course. It was the citizens' guns. And uh, I think it's very important that we do everything we can do to make sure that the citizens continue to be able to have uh, their firearms. Magistrates? I couldn't concur more, George, uh, Judge. If anybody wants a copy of this, uh, there should be some here, and if they're not, they'll make you some more if anybody wants a copy of it. Uh, any other court members want to speak on this matter? Uh, now, I'm going to ask Mr. Atkins if he would come forward and give us a, a, bri a few brief comments on it. Judge, magistrates, citizens of Ohio County, thank you for allowing me to speak this to, tonight. 
I'll try to keep my time brief. Um, our country and our Commonwealth are under attack. I'm a proud husband, father, and a 21-year veteran of the United States Army, and a proud citizen of Ohio County. We are currently in a fight for our Second Amendment uh, freedoms and rights. These newly proposed anti-gun laws are being pushed through our state. With uh, will do nothing but keep our communities will not keep our communities and people safer. I believe that is the agenda. I believe if the agenda was public safety, that these proposed laws would be written much differently. Um, but these proposed laws are the widest, most far-reaching, egregious laws that can be proposed in order to cover the widest range of firearms uh, in our state possible. If these laws go into effect, these gun, these, with the stroke of a pen, millions of law-abiding citizens and Ohio Countyans and tax-paying American Kentuckians will be made criminals instantly. Um, and this, my friends, are completely unacceptable. Our Constitution Bill of Rights exists for a reason. Our laws mainly exist to control and limit government encroachment on its citizens' lives, not the other way around. And these laws clearly violate the citizens of this great Commonwealth's rights to keep and bear arms to protect themselves, their families, and their property. Um, there have been some changes since I've written this. Uh, Representative Donahue from Jefferson County had originally proposed Bill Request 354 um, with a lot of different stipulations on what was considered assault and uh, banning. He has then changed that now to Bill, Res Bill Request 191, which is basically the exact same thing, just a little verbiage difference. Um, furthermore, <coughs> Um, although it is my opinion that this bill, a bill such as this would never pass in Kentucky, <coughs> the mere fact that it is even being entertained at our capital is cause for alarm. And the bottom line is that those who intend to do harm or carry out illegal activities do not care what laws are passed. Um, these laws only take away from the rights of our law-abiding citizens to protect themselves, their property, and their loved ones. So tonight I urge you without hesitation to send a powerful voice to our state leadership that the Second Amendment rights of the, of the legal and law-abiding citizens of Ohio County will not be further infringed by a unanimous vote yes to this resolution presented before you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Roll call, Miranda. Town. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Motion carries that resolution is in effect. I'm signing it right now. And tomorrow we will uh, get this to everybody that's named in this resolution to get it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That's, that's done. And, and we have several other items of business to take care of, which you're perfectly welcome to uh, say for. Uh, but we will not be offended if any of you have to excuse yourself. Uh, so, uh, next. Just come back next month. Yeah. 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 This is the largest meeting. <laughs> hey. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're more than welcome. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Go ahead. Thank you. I'd like to make a uh, request to all the citizens that came tonight. Make sure you go vote and contact your state representative and your state senator and let them know how you feel about what's going on. That's the only way they know. That's it. Uh, I just take The, we have before you the, the Treasurer's December report. Move to accept, Judge. We'll move along. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Motion by Larry Camp. Second. Great. What are you doing? Where the Treasurer's the December report. We got a second, didn't Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> Second, Jason. Oh, me. I wouldn't have done that. No, I wouldn't have Are there any questions for Ann on that? I kept one ran up on Creek, but we didn't. 
They wouldn't all get up there anyway that way. Read them. They had to shoot 20 times to a man parking. She put uh, 11 in the bullseye. <laughs> about like that right there. She shot a good pattern. Right? Hey, Larry. Yeah. All right. My daughter and we put all 20 in the bullseye. They ever won. All right. Okay. Sorry, Mr. We just we voted on it. Is this by your smile? Um, okay, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. I make a motion that we accept the December financial report of the clerk. Second. Got a motion and second. Jason and Sam. Any questions for the clerk? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carried. Okay. And also... Y'all seen the the clerk's estimated 2020 budget? I'll make a motion and we acknowledge receiving that. Motion with Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. What? No, Sam. We'll take it, Sam. Okay, Sam. They both did, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, you you pick. It's fine. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, Pose like sign. Motion carried. Uh, then you have the uh, annual order setting the maximum amount for clerk's deputies for 2020. Make a motion to acknowledge. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. I've got the number. Give me just a second. We accept that. It's this amount. Okay. It's the amount of $384,234. So we have a motion by who? Make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second by who? So what was the amount? I'll second it. Uh, $384,234. $384, most uh, any other discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed like sign. That they're set. <coughs> I sign it. Nope. Okay. Now the sheriff's twenty twenty estimated budget. Make a motion that we hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta read that number. Got a motion with Joe Barnes to. No, no, not the estimated budget. No. Do you have that one? Did you get it? No. I've got the I've got the uh, maximum salaries here. I know, but did you get the other one? Do we have the other one? Their budget. Their estimated budget. Justin, you got time to go up and ask more. I'm by. Oh, she did? Is that what that is? No, it's on here. Yeah. It's on here. No, no, no. That oh, is separate be, from this. We shouldn't be in a 10 minutes. You guys want personnel. You need their estimated budget. Uh, oh, here it is. No, that's not good. Here it is, but it's complicated. We got it. Okay. Yeah. We got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I make motion. Motion with Joe. I'll second. Second with Jason. All in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carries. Now, the uh, one setting the uh, order of the maximum amounts for sheriff deputies. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. What's that? You gotta read the number. It's one million three hundred seventy-five dollars and one million three hundred seventy-five thousand one hundred nineteen dollars. Have motion by with Joe. Who seconded? Uh, second. Second by Larry Morphew. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries.
Okay. We've got two more things from the Sheriff's Office. Fourth quarterly report. Fourth quarterly report and the fee account. We've already signed that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, two more motions here for the Sheriff. Motion and knowledge that we got the fourth quarter. Uh, motion with Joe Barnes. Second. Second with Sam Small. Any questions or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Okay, now the fee account. Okay. That one I need to sign it down. Okay. It, it's the same thing, apparently. I put it all on one line. Okay. I'll make an analogy. So. Motion by Jason Bullock. I'll second. Second with Sam Small. Any discussion or questions for the sheriff? There's a budget. This is not Anything else? Big none. All in favor say aye. Don't give them to the old but Aye. Aye. Y'all didn't vote. Aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Go get my old budget. Motion carried. One thing is going to give us. That's what we're talking about. What's the last hearing? That's okay, is that next? Okay, that's next. Okay, gentlemen, uh, intended to bring this to road committee meeting, but we basically forgot it last month when we had one. Uh, Davis County Fiscal Court gave us, uh, several years ago, they gave us a piece of equipment. It's a uh, chip spreader. And uh, we don't use it anymore. Have, haven't used it for two solid seasons. And... Uh, uh, the the Knox County Fiscal Court wants it. Uh, I've talked to Justin about it. There's no problem with one government to another. Since it was given to us, I'd like to give that to Knox County and would make that motion. I'll second that. Second with Sam Smile. One thing I want to bring to the court's attention, if I hadn't realized, is that before we bought the new machine, that was the machine that saved us. Our machine, which, is, which we'd spent $30,000 on, um, well, we it was it. it was in the shop, and thank goodness we had the uh, Davis County, yes. the one that was given to us by Davis County. Thank goodness we had it because we, it, we got some good use out of it. Uh, but I'm, my only concern is, and I don't really have a problem with it, other than if the new machine something was to happen, we have to fall back on it. I'm not sure we can count on the one that we spent the thirty thousand dollars on because it's been it's just been constant problems from the start. Yeah. But. Any further discussion? Which one is the better piece of equipment, though? No. I, let me let me remind you something. We sold it on uh, Gov Deals last year. The other one. This one hasn't been used for a long time, and uh, our road department people pretty much won't use it anymore. Well, thanks to the court. <laughs> we bought a new one, and there's no comparison in the. No, uh, that's this why. Is our only backup. Good job, because what you, is yeah. it, that's what I'm saying. It's our only backup. That's our only backup, but it, we had used it so much where it had uh, mounted the road up so much in the middle. I mean, I wouldn't want to even use it again if we had to wait on the other one to be repaired in case it went, did go down. So I, I don't have a big problem with that. Okay. I wrote call that. And, no, second by uh, Joe Barnes. I thought Larry Morphew did, but that's okay. Got Joe's. Okay. Uh, Count. Yes. Morphew. <coughs> yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Pay it forward. There you go. That's exactly right. Um, that fiscal court uh, will really appreciate that. Um, well, they, they'll come and get it, won't they? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I think Sam actually told him at the conference he'd take it to him, but that's... I didn't tell him I'd take it to him. Okay. He's going to make a proper job at home. Okay. No, I'm kidding about that. Yeah, they'll come and get it. Um, uh, I want to turn this one to Larry, but I will tell you this is something we addressed many a uh, long time ago. And uh, Fern Lane water line, and when we gave Walt the PO four or five years ago, he wouldn't do it because it wasn't on the county road right away. So it got dropped from the list. It's not even on there anymore. It's been ongoing for about 
Well, first year I was on the court, it's been yeah. going about five years now. Yes, it has every bit of five years. So, uh, Larry? I'd like to make a motion that we uh, put this water line in and Fern Lane Road. Go ahead this, and tell them the, amount, the length and the amount. Uh, the length is 3,180 foot, and the amount is $19,550. And how many would that serve? <coughs> Two right now, and there's possibility of some more. Yes. And this lady, she's been trying to get water. She hadn't had water for all these years. So, so it's two different dwellings, two different households. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I will second that. How long has Fern Lane been a road? I've been in as a county. Well, you remember we put it in a few months ago. Right hands looking at you. Just a few months ago, I thought that freed up and put the water line back on. And whenever we started to give Walt the P.O. for it, we found out it wasn't on the list. Is this just uh, put it on the list? It's and been on the list. Out. It was on there, but it's off now. Because so it's just well, putting it back on the list? Yes. Just doing it? Put no, it doing, it. List. doing it. I would like to move it to the top of the yeah. list. But it's a firm, let me ask you real quick. The Fern Lanes has been a road for a couple of months. How did it fall off the list? Because we put it on the list. <laughs> we were going to do it. How can you put but it Walt wouldn't put it on there because it wasn't on County Road. No. We thought if you had a right of way, a private lane, the right of way, he could do it, but he wouldn't. Yeah, she uh, signed the, what's her name, Annabelle? Uh, yeah, she did signed the easement. Do we have a copy of the list? Mm -hmm. I have to go get it real quick. Yeah, let's see what's, uh, see if, if there's others that has more houses on, has more of a priority. And I'd like, I'm like Joe, I'd like to see a copy of that list. And furthermore, I need to find out how much is in the Rural Water Line Extension Fund. Well, uh, if y'all like, if it's your pleasure, we can put it on the list and then review whether or not it goes to the top. And that sounds good to me. Okay. Do you understand that's the motion now? Add put it on the list. list. We're going to re-add it to the list. Yes. That's the motion this time. That's my well, second. Does, yeah. All in favor of that, say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Judge, if I may... Uh, move something in here i've got a uh, county road brunel lane okay. 1100 feet of water line that needs to be put in i'd like to put that on the list as well if i can get a second uh 1100 feet all right now i don't know the cost on it i'll get okay. with walt and see okay okay we'll put it on there uh What's the name of it brunel b-u-r-n-e-l-l -L. how many is it going to serve <laughs> one one yep just one 1100 feet it's not well it is a ways but it's not a long way um uh, so uh okay got a second but joe barnes you got that mm -hmm. all in favor say aye aye opposed like sign that mo that's added to the list those two are okay uh, i want to add a name appoint a water district board member or actually reappoint for the fifth district i put up the name of jay raymond for another term uh, and he is the one that's serving at this time in the 5th District. So just roll call that, Miranda. Jay Raymond. Can enter into minutes, of course. Ken? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. You got that Dennis' thing. Hey, Ken, since we're on the water board, my guys up too. Beaver down. I didn't know that. Let's, you want to reappoint? Can I reappoint Ben Everly? Ben Everly. I put up the name of Ben Everly for the uh, second district water board point. So roll call that one when you get your right name. Kim? Yes. Marky? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yes. Johnson? Yes. If I may make a suggestion, Judge, uh, we can meet maybe an hour prior to the meeting and go over okay. the uh, that's fair rural water lines extension and kind of reprioritize again or whatever. That's what we'll do. We'll do that next month. At least those roads are on there. At four o'clock. Yes. Yeah.
Who's the going to be at the next Yeah. No, we didn't. No. Judge, yeah, where's her next meeting at? I know we voted to add yours on, but do we vote to add yeah. yours on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's just the two. Just give me the one. Just this one? Then so we had a second. I only had the two, right? Yeah. Okay. When is our next Judge meeting? Judge Orson meeting, and where's it? It's at Centertown City Hall. I know that. Centertown City Hall. And at what time? Um, five, I would say. We could write at a normal time. Okay. Do you want us to come an hour earlier on that or wait till the next meeting on this water privatization? The, the next one. Okay. We'll get that at 10, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is on what day? January? What day is the January the, the 4th? It's like 28th. 28th. Yeah, it sounds sound like two weeks away, don't it? Mm -hmm. It looks a lot better to you. Yes, 28th. 28th. Yeah. Did y'all all hear that the next court meeting will be January the 28th at the Centertown City Hall at 5 o'clock? Also, something has changed for our second meeting in February, just so we're talking about it. On the 25th, it's going to be at the hospital. We're going to have all of us are having dinner at 4.30. The meeting's going to start at 5.30. No, when is this, Miranda? The That's 25th. the last of February. February. Oh, February. Oh, okay. Yes. We'll ask that, you. That's we'll a month you. and a half off. We'll get back uh, to you then. Next, uh, as you know, our uh, road supervisor has stepped down. Uh, and Dennis Beatty is going to be our interim road supervisor. And uh, since he's the interim, we want to give him some more pay for the, during the time he's the interim. And... Uh, I put Dennis Beatty up as the interim road supervisor at twenty forty four an hour, uh, and that's effective uh, the twelfth, like this past uh, two days ago. So I'll second. You okay. Need, you need a you made a roll call. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Give that back. Okay, committee reports. Uh, Joe and uh, Sam was in a uh, committee today that met. One, if, do y'all desire to report? It was a wage scale committee. Here she is. What did I do? Okay. He considered some potential compensation and uh, some potential edits to the existing wage scale. But uh, we don't have no motions to bring it this morning. Okay. Point. Okay. But we are working on it. That's good. The committee did meet. And, that wasn't and proper English. We don't have any, but you know, they got we ain't got uh, And for the the record, the only uh, participation I gave in that committee was to recite some poetry. Uh, not that well accepted by some. I'm Somebody always dies in your yeah. poetry. Well, we got uh, friendship. Not in this one. No, I'm the coal mine did. <laughs> the coal mine died. Uh, the, uh, er, er, no other committee reports. We're ready for the magistrate's comments and requests. We'll start with uh, Sam Small. Uh, I who's Just comment. Uh, I appreciate us passing that tonight. I think that was a good move. That's, uh, uh, I wish we could get them people here at every meeting instead of just this one. I mean, uh, I ain't got any on that other than I, I don't know. Well, what we may do, I don't know. I am glad we've had something. Meeting, uh, we I hope it holds up if anything ever happens. That's the main thing. And, uh, um, I don't know what you're doing. I'll shut up now since I don't know how to talk. No, you're good. I had a quick question of mine then. Um, and I might, Justin, you did this paperwork for us, and I meant to ask you this when I talked to you earlier. They, um, she the, I had a road she extension, yeah. 500 foot, that's already a county road. It's out the McDowell Lane. To add extension, do you, what are the protocols? They don't have, cause I know the new roads have to be 20 foot wide. Oh, of course, that road, McDowell, is not that wide. And How wide is it? Well, they're doing everything they can do. It's a narrow road, probably 12, he's, he's 12 foot. Previously, haven't we just required to have the petition and easement for the said houses on road, and that's it? No, you have to insert right away. Vote on the extension part of it. I mean, right, but we need the easement yeah. forms. Yeah. 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 
I, yeah, I get right away, he, I've already talked to him. He'll sign. I just get the forms from you. Yeah. So the per- process I need to do right now, because I don't think anyone is we. I need to get the right away signed first of all. Mm-hmm. Do we need to have a? Do you have to have a viewing for an extension? No, yeah. we don't. We don't. Uh, we don't. For just, okay. So, I mean, we we. I'll check to make sure. But usually, what we've done on the shorter extensions, because the road engineer can also give some leeway there. What? But I'll check and see. And here's my next question. Okay, so there's four homes out there, five, four or five. A father owns about three of those homes, but his kids live in two of them. If the, he, if the house is still in his name, the land, the, the, the man, the father signs that property for the right of way. Yes, still in his name. It has to be him. Uh, he Whoever's on the deed. Well, even, okay. if he, even if the spouse is not in, on the deed, she would have to sign Okay, I just want to make sure I did it, so I need to get those forms signed. Are we going to name it Family Road, maybe? Or? Well, not all of our family. There's a bunch of them, but it's look, just an extension. A little humor there. How many please. live out there? Is it four or five? Man, it's been so long since I've been yeah. up that way. They're neighbors. Yes, four or five. Yeah, so we just want to extend that road. I probably, I haven't been out there yet. I just want to find out the details, so I'll do four or five hundred foot. Get the form, we'll try to get that done to the next okay. meeting. Unless you want to do it now, it. pending the pending those easements. Let me get to make sure there's nothing, and I'll, I'll. I just didn't know if we need to appoint a viewing committee or something like that. That was the only thing I want to make sure before I got the form signed. Uh, okay. Could I ask a quick question? <coughs> uh, I'm looking over the rural water line prioritization, and who's uh? Oh, it says right there. I'm sorry, Valley Valley Lane, Joe. Yes. Yeah. What we're trying to do, we're, we've got uh, 69000 in reserve for water lines, and we're trying to uh, come up with something where we yeah. could get that older lady, but uh, right. we can... Uh, uh, that, that Valley Lane, we need to look, you know, look at the day it was added, and then I need to double check and see what's... You know, this has been a while, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. But... 2000. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to move Larry's up or mine either one as far as that goes unless we found out well, that... Just, uh, that's, that's the only thing I was wanting to check to see where yeah. we was at on some things because it's kind of old. And Tucker Hollow Road, who's is that? Is that yours now, as well? that one is uh, Sam's. That's Sam's. But, but it's, uh, uh, I don't anyway put it top, it's a long way for one house. I mean, a long way for it. And that's the other thing. Do we have in here how many houses or we don't have that? It'd be nice when we add it if we put that on the list yeah. where it says date added or, you know, have another column. Yeah, so we can probably see. wouldn't. It, well, you know, like when we take in a road, there's a requirement that so many, so many homes per heck mile. Yeah. Yeah, live on that. But then that would make it a lot easier to Thank assess you, it for, for the whole court. We want to call oh, uh-huh. The most population with the we right. Uh, so it'd be nice to have that on there. I mean, home. Well, we that lady these. up there, uh, she sure won't be for what we, Can we uh, address this tonight? Yeah. Then, you uh, watch Sam make a motion to start with uh, If we, uh, uh, if we put the. Uh, can we do that when we? What's the name of? What was the name of the road? Fern Lane. Fern Lane. Fern Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Burn Lane. I don't have a problem. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let me do a little calculation here, real oh, quick. Okay. How much was Fern Lane? Nineteen thousand and what? Yeah. Uh, let me get Joe's, and then we'll, we'll get to you, and you do this. Okay. You'll be next, okay. Joe. Yes. You got anything? Uh, when are we gonna have a road committee meeting? Well, <clears throat> we're going to have this water line meeting here at that. I'm going to say. We could probably do both in that hour, from uh, on uh, February the what does February mean? No, the first one. In February? Yeah. yeah. We're going to do a road committee and a water line that 11. day. The eleventh, February the eleventh, we can do both. Well, don't we have a meeting well, on the twenty-eighth too? Yeah, but that's well, we yeah, could discuss that, but it's an outreach meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, I just like to. Go over a few things under the road committee meeting and uh, discuss. Uh, uh, make sure that we've got some community uh, As far as flag and barricading roads and safety issues like that. Okay, on. we can do it. Working on the roads. We can do it. Okay, Larry. Well, I'd like to, uh, since we want to try to get this 
elderly lady some water if we put uh, uh, Valley Lane and, and Joe you could check on that if that's still viable we'd ha I think we'll have enough monies to do it Larry's and uh, and uh, the Brunel Lane 1100 feet as well if we want to deal with that take care of that issue tonight is there anybody else got any objections to moving those three up I sure don't I would I would like to do that I don't have no problem. Can I make the motion, Larry? Yeah, let me... i uh, tell you what, we'll just go ahead and move your two up. Let me check on Valley Lane. And now that we know what we got on okay. the amount of money and everything. Yeah. And You uh, don't want me to include that in the motion? Not, not yet, because uh, that was added uh, four time. years prior to mm -hmm. mine. Okay. The motion is Fern Lane and Brunel Lane. Uh, I'll no. second it. Second Please by Larry Morphew. Yeah, the move uh, it to the top of the list. The cost on Brunel Lane. How much did you say yours was, Larry? Nineteen five. And how many feet? Uh, Thirty-one hundred. Thirty-one hundred. Yours there's one like for fourteen thousand for a thousand. So you said eleven hundred. So right around fourteen thousand probably. Well, Larry's is nineteen thousand with thirty-one hundred feet. Well, yeah. it all depends on what you're coming, what line you're coming off of, the size. Yeah, because there's twelve hundred for six thousand dollars, and he's got a three-inch line. Some of yeah. them, yeah. some of them, got to reduce down from six but inch. And we'll still be within the, we'll still be within the the, oh, the balance that's in the bank. E easily, so. okay. That, so we have motion and second. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Did you get that, Ann? You'll issue the P.O. for those two. Fern Lane. Brunel Lane. Lane. It is now. We just put it on there. It is. A, by the way, guys, it is County Road. Yeah, okay. Good deal. Uh, so that pass. You got it? You get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, anything else? No, that's all. Okay, Larry Morphew. Oh, thing I got is how is it coming on the veterans at Rosine the museum? I mean, not the museum, the uh, veterans memorial. Getting the uh, lights and hey, it's <laughs> Bo's got it. He's getting with uh, uh, electrical contractor and getting the price to bring it to me. <laughs> and if it's doable, we'll do it. Okay. And hopefully, it's moved. And it was just dropped by mistake before. We was aiming to do it before, and it just sort of got. That's all I got, Judge. Okay. Uh, Judge, I got one more plan. You want to appoint the yes, sir. committee? I'm glad you remember, remember, reminded me of that. Uh, we're going to appoint a search committee for the uh, for the uh, road supervisor. The charge of this committee is to uh, tweak the uh, job description, advertise, do interviews, and submit two names to me and I will interview the top two candidates as well. But when you submit them, you will put them in the order that you, you know, wanted. But I would have the option of... top two or three? Yeah. Two. Okay. And don't make it too com hard. Uh, but anyway, uh, the um, I'm, I'm appointing Magistrates Larry Cowan and Sam Small, and I'm appointing employees, uh, employee uh, that's been to school to do some of this, uh, uh, Bo Wright, and uh, of course, Renetta Romero, she's the uh, 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 personnel person here, and they will report to the full fiscal court uh, later. We're not going to rush this. You're, everybody that's here is going to be totally advised as it goes along. You're going to know all about it. You're going to know uh, the, the, uh, anything different on the uh, clarifications on the job description. There won't really be changes, but it could be clarifications. And there would be uh, uh, all this in the in all of the total fiscal court will be kept abreast of it as we go. And I don't look for this to r rush to judgment. We're going to be a, at least two meetings at, at doing that. At least two regular court meetings out doing it. Uh, let me say, Judge, that uh, as one member of the committee, I would invite all magistrates to come in and look over yes, all the applications absolutely. and have some... Uh, Certainly, some input. Into Absolutely, it. input. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, does anyone else have anything for the good of the body? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I just wanted to 
I forgot his first name. I guess I got confused or didn't understand or whatever, but I thought there was going to be a meeting with uh, Maverick. You know? There was. There was. Well, I don't understand how I missed it. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and and basically, there was a, another round of papers was filled out last week, or two weeks ago. When <laughs> last week. Last week, another round of papers was filled out and submitted. Uh, the uh, Maverick was approached. FEMA, and FEMA insisted they approach this other organization first. So we are, knowing pretty well they're not going to fund it. But they have to turn us down before FEMA does. Okay. Well, so that's, it's, that's, we were, near, that's near to the same story I got from Maverick two months ago. Yeah. And well, they did get the here's the deal. Here's the papers deal. to us. Last Thursday, uh, when uh, I kind of came up with this idea, and uh, I'm putting up. I'm putting flags in the ground, a foot back from where the bank is. So this last last storm we had, I lost three flags. So I mean, I got ground just going down the river. And and, and the thing uh, about it is, <clears throat> when we you know came um, to bring it to you, all of you, we're approaching a year. It was in March. It was a meeting in March when we and. I mean, we're this. I mean, we're getting into a cast, catastrophic situation. We we do we're it. Either Randy and I. I mean, we're either going to have to start doing something. I mean, we're we're losing land. We're not going to get back. And I mean, it's starting to get into our farmland. Yeah. I mean, we don't make enough as it is to, when we when we make when we farm. Yeah. I mean, I'm going nuts. Uh, Judge, do you, how, do you have any uh, idea of what the timetable, how long it's going to take well, for this process to well, work? I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think, but if I if last year when we realized we could do something about it, when the bridge came into play, at the time we found out we actually could be a player in it. At first we didn't know we could. When we found out we could be a player in it, uh, I would have guessed uh, three to six months then, and like they said, it's been a year. Yeah. So I would go back to saying – Three months. Uh, well, Randy and I have talked, and I don't have a problem with if the county attorney says it's all right to take, uh, uh, I wouldn't care to take my discretionary monies, uh, some of it. Uh, we talked about getting a logger, at least trying to get some of the stuff, the trees across it that's causing the backup, that's causing the right. causing the, the, uh, the obstruction in the river. Right. And uh, But I need uh, Justin to left. He had to go somewhere. But I'll touch base with him and find out if, if it's legal, if we take taxpayers' money to do that, and if it is, I, I want to know if the, well, the court would have any problem if Randy and Ms. Andy decided that if that's the route they'd like to take. Because what my concern is, and I think you guys as well, is is the timetable on this. The longer it waits, the worse it gets. Yeah, and I would know. thought, and Randy has talked to a logger that feels like that he can get in there and uh, maybe take some of the obstruction out of it. And if that's the case, then we'll be able to uh, at least let more water go down the river and not kick out into the field. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of like the judge here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I know exactly. I know exactly what you're saying. But I just hope to God that we can get to where we can move on this by next fall. Because, sure. yeah, you know, sure. I mean, that, that, that's sure. crazy, but, but that's... Surely. About our next bet, unless yeah. these people are miracle right. workers, because I don't know how to get in there. The, the thing that I'm worried about, too, is with the river. If we don't have, you know, I think we should, I don't know if you have approached Embry uh, about problems on the river, but I mean, our biggest problem is them is the army corps of engineers the way they release it they release it in so in kind of like bulks and they said and i'll refresh everybody's memory that if this would have happened closer to the dam they would have taken care of it but because it's downstream and and again you know, with other counties being affected, I mean, it's just not Ohio County. That river goes through Grayson and Breckenridge and all of them. You know, it, it's 
got to be a, a kind of somebody overseeing it. But I mean, if we don't do it right, I mean, I, I can we could throw sticks of dynamite, well, but it's gonna it's gonna clog up downstream. Yeah. Let's see if we can do what Larry suggested. Make sure the county turns yeah, it. Yeah, I appreciate If we that. can take that off and get started. But not drop what Maverick's doing with the corn. I mean, with the uh, right. FEMA, and try to do a real good job with it. But let's see if we can at least get some of that out of there. Yeah. Because uh, I would, I would also recommend, and I know Charlie Shields had called last week and wanted to fly a drone, but the river was up then, and then like two days later it was really down. So I would suggest that that Charlie, when it's down, take some current aerials to show how bad it is before anybody gets in there. Yeah. Because if we get a kind of a, um, a complaint that we stepped in, we can show them because right. Maverick, Maverick is going to be shocked yeah. on how bad it is because they haven't seen it since October. Yeah. I know the judge, how long ago has that been, Judge? Probably been almost four. a year. Is that right? I appreciate everything that you guys yeah. have done. You could have turned our back on all, you know, yeah. and said, hey, it's not our problem. No, we want to do it, and I understand your frustration, and if I was in your shoes, I want it a lot faster than we're getting it, but we right. are trying, I assure you. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate everything you've done, and Larry, I appreciate everything yeah. that you're suggesting. Is so. uh, Mr. Blair, he's still on board to do that, if I could check and find out if it's all on the uh, leak? Uh, legal end of it because I'm, I'm making a promise to you guys when this gets cleared I'm hit I'm hitting Frankfort and I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't care if I have to spend the rest of my retirement this is never gonna happen again because no no farmer no property owner around that even borders this river should have the problem that we're having yeah. you know the irony of it is uh, the Corps of Engineers controls the rivers and everything like that uh, but then when something like this happens, they, they, they take when, a back seat. Yeah. And Charlie Shields was out there, you know, when I got them to come out, not for the river because they said they wouldn't, but we had another problem and they came out. And they, they were just blasé. It was like, not a problem, they don't care. And I was just shocked. And so was Charlie. So, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. And I really appreciate everybody come tonight. It's good to have uh, uh, people out there. Uh, appreciate every, all of us. We behave more when we got an audience <laughs> and, and get things done. I've so. served on the court 30 years, and I believe that's the biggest crowd I've seen since I've sat on the court. Oh, so. Joe was the biggest one I've seen. Yeah. You remember the smoke uh, public hearing we had on the smoke ordinance? Yeah, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't this size. No. Not even when we were Yes, sir. On stuff, they can get that done. Yes. You know, yeah. if you got one or two over here that, you know, trying to do it, that won't happen. That was the whole county coming yeah. together. Yeah. Last? I think Larry is forgetting the meeting we had to stand to do and the sticker and stuff like that. We had to crack them. Didn't we have that out at the fairground at the park? park? Out at the park. Yeah, I recall that. Yeah, I, I was there. Yeah. Uh, cooking chicken, I believe. <laughs> there was a... Yeah, there was... No, I was in high school. Yeah. There's some left with it. All right. Like I said, appreciate everybody. We're going to call this meeting adjourned.